Hey everyone, it's Laura. Welcome back. Um, I know it's been a while, right? It's been, I don't know, today's October 17th. It's probably been a few weeks. Um, and what a few weeks it has been. So, um, today I thought we'd work on this whip that I've had going probably for the last few weeks. Um, I don't know what kind of animal this is, like a bobcat or some other kind of large cat, but it's from Circulism Art Books North. It's the only page I've worked on in here. I'm collecting their books faster than I can color in them. I just bought their newest um, Christmas coloring book because I'm planning ahead and getting in the Christmas spirit early. So, which is very unlike me. I usually savor fall and really um, get into fall. And I am into fall. I've decorated my house and, um, but I am just trying to plan ahead for Christmas. So I will have a haul at the end of this month of all the Christmas books I bought. But for now, we'll work in this. Um, I apologize for the glare. See if I turn off this light. It's very dark. It's even darker for me than it is for you. So I can't, I can't see. So we're gonna have to leave the light on. My, my light right here is this little, my, my blinds are open, so there's light coming in through my window. But this is like a little beam beacon of light in the corner of my room here. Um, the rest of the house is dark. It's only 3.37, but it is so overcast outside. Where do I put these? Right, right there. Can I see them? Okay. It is so overcast outside that... What? There's a little bit of sun peeking through now. Warmer than it was supposed to be today. So let's pick a color and just start coloring so I don't just chat away and not do anything. Um, I'm going to move these so you can't see them, but I need the space right here. Okay, 15 dark pink. At some point, I've been using super tips, Crayola super tips, for um, their books. Um, but at some point, I might switch over to alcohol markers. I'm not sure. So I have been very MIA for the past few weeks. The last video I did was a haul video from the end of September. And if any of you watched to the end of that video, you'll know why I've been MIA. Um, but I'll do a little recap here in case you missed it. Because um, I did mention in that video that, you know, there would be information at the end of the video, but I didn't necessarily expect anybody to stick around for it. I, I know the most interesting part is the haul. Um, but um, I had been talking off and on for months about my great aunt who was battling cancer. Um, well, she, she died. Um couple weeks ago and it's 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 been kind of it, it's been three weeks and it yet it just feels like everything has just happened in like one week when someone dies everything happens really fast and She wanted to be buried here, and she doesn't live here, so she got moved here. Um, my dad had just gone in, in place of my great uncle and bought their cemetery property. Um, like the week before. 
pieces it all just kind of came together and I think we're done with 15. I'm sure I'll find more 15s later. Oh yep here's some more. Here's a lot more. Um, and then there was the rosary. There wasn't a funeral per se. There was a burial um, you know, a graveside service and a rosary. That... I've been to a few rosaries since living here. And, um, it wasn't a practice I was familiar with until moving here. Um, let's do six. What is six? Dark orange. What is dark orange? Their colors are different here. Six is like regular orange. Oh, I've already done six and I just missed a couple. Oops, hang on. Okay. But anyway, there was a rosary, there was a burial. My great uncle stayed. Um, with with us for um, let's do ten medium brown. Um, for about a week, and I am not used to having that much social interaction. You know, he needed the social interaction after losing his wife, um, his best friend. So we had family dinners with him and my aunt and uncle every night. Um, it was just a lot for me. And then he went home and things quieted down. But he's, you know, we, we're keeping in touch with him so he knows that he's being thought of and cared for. Um, but he's lonely and I don't blame him. So he's coming back probably next week. Depends if we can get his, he, he has a house here that, I don't know if I ever talked about it. I think I did though, that was being renovated for them to come live here, but then she got sick and plans changed. And so the house has been empty. So he um, is staying in there on an air mattress. Um, but the sh there's something wrong with the shower and he probably won't come back down until the shower's fixed because it's it, it has to do with the hot water and he, you can't get hot water out of the shower. So there's a plumber coming um, this week, later this week. Okay, to try and fix that. Let's do, let's do some of the board, outer border here just to, cause there's a lot going on here. It's a lot of the same color. So let's do five. Dark green. Ooh, dark green. Okay. Can you still see? Yep. Uh, that's a pretty color. So it's, um, I'm enjoying the time quiet time right now but I know when he comes back it'll be lots of family dinners again and it'll be busy although not as busy as his last visit here but um, it'll still be busy and I'll have to remind myself to take time off and um do you know things like coloring and 
you know, keeping up with my mental health. And um, I started reading again. That's something I hadn't done in years. I know that's probably really weird to people because like most people read all the time, but um, the most reading I was doing was news articles. So I, um, I'm reading two books right now. I'm switching between them because I'm having trouble focusing. <clears throat> I'm reading a Murder, She Wrote book, which I'm not thrilled with. I've read it before, but I can't remember anything that happened. Um, so I thought I'd read it again, but I'm not, I'm not thrilled with it thus far. I'm going to, I'm going to finish reading it though, because I want to know what happens. Um, and then I've been reading Nancy Drew books, um, on my phone. So that's been fun. Those are much shorter. Nancy Drew books are only like an hour and a half long to read. Um, I can't remember how many pages there are. They're all about the same. The Murder, She Wrote book is like three and a half hours long, so it's twice as long. And then, let's see, today's Monday on... Wednesday, I have a dentist appointment with my brand new dentist. Uh, if anybody remembers prior, I had mentioned that, I'm sure I had mentioned that my dentist abandoned me and didn't want to take care of my teeth anymore. And so we did some research and found a dentist who deals with a lot of the problems that I'm facing and it took a little while to get an appointment he's sorry that's my chair he's a popular person but I'm kind of looking forward to getting it over with I know I'm gonna need a lot of work done and I'll tell you all about it once um, the appointment is over or maybe the next week I'll do another color and chat and we can talk about it. But um, I know I need to have at least one tooth pulled. And I need some implants. I'm missing a tooth now and I'm going to be missing another tooth once that tooth is pulled. Um, so there's just stuff that I'm afraid of basically is what's going to happen. I'm terrified of getting implants. Everybody else is terrified of getting root canals or something. I'm like, I'm terrified of getting implants. Okay. There's some more fives right here. Can you still see? Yeah, I'm not zooming in today. I'm not sure why I just didn't think about it earlier on. <sighs> Thinking alcohol markers might be easier in these books because some of these dots are pretty tiny and the tips of these super tips are, they get squished really fast. Um, So they're kind of hard to get in the small circles. Okay, so let's go over here and get the rest of these fives. Seen quite a few of you working on, working out of, um, what is it, Tales from the Witch's Cottage? Is that what it's called from Hannah Carlson? I don't have that book. That's... I don't have every one of her books, but I, I have most of them. And that is one that I did want, but somehow got pushed down on my wish list. And then I, 
I don't think I've seen it pop up in a while. So I might have to get that one, although it's it's kind of the thing I'd want to color during October. I know it could be an all year round book. It just, to me, it's like a seasonal thing. So I, I, I don't know if I'm going to buy it this year. done here. I don't know if we're going to finish this. I don't want to stay on too, too long. Because I'm a little nervous, honestly. Um, oh, I missed quite a lot of the white in here. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little nervous coming, having, having gone so long between making videos that I am... Um, It's just weird. You just want to finish the background. It's a lot of dots. Let's go back to the cat. Let's do 17. 17 is dark violet. I am making dinner tonight. I'm making egg roll in a bowl. My mom is making the rice to go with it. I don't know how it's going. I haven't been back in my mom's house for a little while, but she was, um, she was, I was helping her make me, I don't know how to make them. So she was helping me, um, learn how to make, um, fazui or their Italian beans. Um, called different things depending on what area of Italy you're from um, or what dialect you speak in what area um, but where where my family's from it's called Fazui and it's um, be just a dried beans. I don't. I don't know that it necessarily has to be a particular kind of bean. But it's, so today we're using pinto beans. Start with dried pinto beans. Put them in the instant pot. Cook them. They get nice and soft. And then you use salt, pepper, oil, vinegar, and red onion and mix it, in, mix it together and you have a bean salad. I'm telling you, you can basically make anything Italian by adding salt, pepper, oil, and vinegar and then it, <laughs> then it becomes an Italian side dish. That's just, that's how it is in our family. Everything has to, for the Italian side of the family, everything has salt, pepper, oil, and vinegar. Okay. Let's do. Oh, there's another six I missed. Missed a lot of sixes. Oh, 
11. Let's do 11. Oh, that's 11 down here out there too. Let's do the stuff inside the cat first. So I'm doing Weight Watchers. I've been steadily, slowly gaining weight for a while now, and I'm just sick of it. So I'm trying Weight Watchers. It didn't, it has not worked well thus far. Um, so I'm going to try harder this week, see where it gets me. It's the reason she's making me the beans is because beans are, on Weight Watchers, you have foods that take up points and foods that are free foods. So beans are free food for me. So if I need a snack, it would be good. Fruits and vegetables are free foods. Most vegetables are free foods. Um, eggs are free foods, grilled chicken breast or chicken breast in whatever form is free food. Then on my plan, um, pasta is a free food and because I'm gluten free, I, I use brown rice pasta or pasta with like lentils or something in them and those are all free foods too. <clears throat> Why is there a white dot right there? Is it a tooth? I don't know. Let's do 13. <clears throat> Cream. I've already done 13. Okay, let's do 12. Light brown. Did we already do light brown? No, we did not. Do 24. There's a few 24s right there. Oh, that's black. Oh, some more sixes. A 10. Thirteen, back to cream, nine is orange, we missed nine, oh, that's nine too. Seven is red. Seven. More seven. Okay, um, I missed a purple. Let's do I missed another purple. I always miss so many of these. 15 is dark pink.
See, I'd have a better color selection if I used the alcohol markers too. Five, which is dark green. That's 11. Getting carried away. Okay, and I think everything else is 11. How long have we been recording? 25 minutes. Oops, I missed some sevens. What's seven? Red. Odd place for red. I think we'll go ahead and call it quits and I'll just finish the background on my own. We did a lot. I'm, I'm happy. Was that a squirrel? I don't know. I just ordered the farm animal one too. That looks like a fun one. Um, so many books, so little time. So thank you all for joining me. Um, I'll have to give you an update on how the dentist went. Um, and I'll probably be back, back, um, I'm gonna probably be back this week. It's Monday, I don't know, I might be back this week. I might do another video, start another page. Um, out of what, I don't know. I'll probably be sticking to color by numbers for a while. That's what I do when I'm stressed. Um, but thank you for joining me and I hope I forgot to say I hope you're all doing well I hope everybody's having a great beginning of the week and you all had a good weekend and I will see you again soon bye